I'm I'm smiling, Naveen, because I had a list of 22 questions and you've answered all of them in that one answer. <laughs> um, but if if we'll stay with the with the numbers, then um, Naveen, um, your production volumes this year you've announced will go up from 70,000 to I think two and a half lakhs to 250,000 a year. Uh, if you look at the competitive analysis, you know, Aether Energy anticipates that they will manufacture a million uh, scooters a year in the next few years. And Ola has announced they'll start at 2 million and go up to 10 million a year, which is an astounding number by, by any means. Um, what are your plans to address this sort of serious capacity and supply increase in the market in the immediate future? And what do you reckon will be the impact on Hero? Because the scales are so radically different. See, Ravin, mean, uh, when you look at crystal ball glazing. I mean, we can come up with any number. It's not, I mean, and we've already got a proven track record. So last year when we had projected that, you know, we're going to do for 2021, we're going to do 50,000 units. We actually closed it at 54,000 units. So we've actually exceeded that. The previous year, whatever we had projected to our board, uh, even in 2018, we are on track year on year. Now, where we come from is a very scientific way where we have calculated how this market is going to expand and how it's convert, they're going to convert. And a part of that is also based on how, in the historically, how IC engine have converted. How many years did it take them for them to really establish themselves, disrupt the market, and what happens thereof? Mm -hmm. So every company is, is, I mean, will have their own strategy on what they feel is going to be the market share and what they feel is going to be the large, uh, the size of the market, etc., and what they're gearing up for. We are very clear that, you know, we've got our ears and eyes on the ground completely. If we have to enhance our capacity today, we can do that very quickly, as we've done in the past as well. So we've jumped from uh, the same plant, which was producing 17,000 units till just a few years back. We've gone over 54,000 units in the same plant with more efficiencies, etc. So we have our own plans. And what the numbers I'm telling you about are the base case scenario numbers. Mm -hmm. Should certain things change, these numbers would explode. And we are there. I mean, our supply chains are ready. I've already built up on, on that. Conversion is going to happen. Disruption is going to happen. And I would be the happiest, you know, if that disruption happens faster rather than slower because of just because we've invested so heavily into this and we've got so much of our uh, uh, energy and everything that's gone into this sector. So. I don't know what their uh, thought process is. I would look at, you know, what we've done in the past, what the numbers are in the past, and how do you jump up from there and what is practically possible and what is not. 